let's talk about the zip tray and the main idea of the zip tray as you can see this is a flat sheet of metal or steel and it has plenty of holes the main idea is that the vapor passes through all these holes all the, this large number of holes or perforation which are technically sieves and the liquid the main idea is that it flows here but because of the gas it will not be allowed to go down here so what happens is that the liquid starts accumulating in all this system right here until it eventually increases this height or surpasses the height so the, the liquid goes out to the next stage so what's happening here is that the vapor must have the correct flow rate in order to avoid the liquid from dripping through the holes if you have low vapor you will have liquid going through the holes down which will be a fail this is called whipping and if you have excess you will not allow the liquid to interact with the gas phase okay so the main advantage of the seed trip is the simple design you just need to uh, perforate all these right here and that there are no mechanical moving parts so it will not be let's say it will not broke you will not need to substitute the moving parts or any kind of thing also it's relatively cheap compared to other things the disadvantage will be that it can be whipped it also can cause falling what's falling is nothing more than maybe a material comes here starts making a block narrows the channel and eventually will block all these right here so what's happened here is that the gas will not be able to pass through so this will not favor mass transfer whipping is also a concern if you do not have well actually because this is a hole it will not open or close regarding the flow rates later on we're going to see that there are some uh, mechanical parts which allow that but as you can see the liquid will flow or whip if there is not enough gas flow rate okay so just to consider that right here typical layouts which you will find in these type of trays as you can see these are following a pattern are the square hole pitch the equilateral triangular pitch so this is the triangular one and the square hole is as the name implies is square so as you can see here this is most likely a square pitch or triangular wait for it wait, here it is now the typical sieve sizes can go from 1 16th of inch to 1 inch actually 1 inch try to imagine your thumb it's kind of large what we want to avoid is very small holes because the more or the smaller you get the easier it will fall so the easier you will have problems and you don't want that you want to avoid falling because it will reduce the tray efficiency or capacity now in terms of cost how much does this cost to manufacture larger holes are cheaper and not only that you will need to punch or create less holes smaller holes by definition they are expensive because you require drilling and plenty of labor and detail labor as you can see here there are plenty of holes you need to verify each individual hole whereas as large numbers will not be that complex so these are zip trays very simple don't worry we're going to see more examples more images but the main idea is to understand the advantages simple design no mechanical moving part cheap to uh, design and the disadvantage will be whipping and falling